Hey there everyone on the internet, it's John, and I'm back with another review. And today I'm going to be doing a product review of these four bowls of ramen. And these come from a company called One Culture Foods. What they have, they have two different products basically where they sell. They have noodle bowls, which come in four varieties. And they also have different sauces that they sell in jars um, that you can use for multiple recipes. But today I'm going to be doing a review of these four bowls of noodles. Now, just to let you know, they sent these to me for free for the purpose of reviewing. I'm going to still try to be as honest as I possibly can. I'm not getting any money for this, but they did send me the products for free. Now, they have four varieties here. There's one distinct thing but with one of these bowls that I want to point out real quick. This is the Vietnamese beef pho. And this has a different type of noodle than the other three. So this is like a, a really th uh, thin rice noodle, which came in a coil, dried, in the bowl. The other three had fresh packs of noodles, which came in this vacuum sealed package. And you can see that all the other noodles look the same. They're thick wheat noodles. So that's the, the big difference between that one. Now all four of them, the broth are uh, bone broth. If you're unfamiliar with that, it's basically they boil the bones down until they have all the goodness taken out of them and you make a broth out of that. Each one of them has one of these little yellow packets. So I think there's two chickens and two beefs. And then they also each come with a dry pack of flavorings. And they'll either come in like a silvery one or a clear plastic one. And I'm not sure why ones get the silvery one and, one, and some get the clear plastic one. And anyway, these are made in New York. They say that they're making upstate New York. And their purpose is to just show the many different varieties of noodles where you have the same basic product but people have it differently all over the world so let's just go ahead and start out with the first one this is the Vietnamese beef pho and it has bone broth and warm spices with cilantro what that looks like let's give it a taste Now these are all made to be microwavable, so the bowls are microwave safe. You peel off the top, you open up all the ingredient packs, put it in there with the water. You fill it up to, they have the fill line on the outside of the, the bowl, which it works, but I, I would like to have a line on the interior, but that's just me being nitpicky. These noodles have a nice proper bite to them that I would expect with Vietnamese noodles. You really do taste uh, the spices in there. Both the cilantro, and I don't know how to describe it, I've had pho before, and the flavors that I remember are in this bowl. They may not be like as super intense as you can make with a authentic fresh bowl of pho, but for a microwavable bowl of noodles, it's probably one of the best ones you can find. And the beefy, the beefiness comes through really nicely. And it just says warm spices, and that's actually a very good description of this. I don't know if there's ginger in there, sugar, onion, soy sauce, cilantro, lime, ginger. There it is. I thought I tasted ginger. 
That's really good. If you are a fan of pho, you should try this one out. One cool thing is on each packet they have like this little map and it will highlight the area where this variety is popular in and give you a little uh, little details about uh, the flavors and the little bit of the culture. Moving on, this one is Chinese chicken noodle. And this says with bone broth, ginger, and shiitake, which is a mushroom, there are pieces of shiitake mushroom in it all over. Pretty big chunks too. All right, let's give this one a taste. It really smells like chicken. The fresh noodles are really thick and chewy. Get one of these mushrooms. The mushrooms have really because the mushrooms were in the dry packet. They've really soaked up the moisture nicely. Let me get a taste of some of this broth. Mm. This one tastes good. These broths so far are really good. Now, whereas the, the noodles in there were a dry noodle, these ones are a fresh noodle. The noodles in this one, since they were already basically cooked, I wouldn't say cooked, but they're already soft, they don't really soak up the broth as much. So you really want to get a taste of the broth, broth with every bite. With both of these so far, the broth has been killer. Moving on. Next we're at the Japanese spicy ramen. It's probably the, the type of instant noodle, or noodles in general, that I've had the most experience with. So I'm hoping that this one tastes really good. And this one is... Bone broth, nori, and scallions. Sesame seeds, orange peel, seaweed, ginger. This one's got a lot more spices than the last one. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. The seaweed and the chili spice are definitely potent in this one. Now my favorite kind of ramen broth is a tonkatsu, which is pork, but this one is made with chicken, which doesn't mean it's bad. <clears throat> but if you like, if you like the taste of miso soup, or the taste of like seaweed in general, this one was like, it's like packed with that kind of flavor. So you get like chicken, seaweed, and then like a punch of spice with this one. It's not like one of those challenge spicy ramens, but like you're going to taste the spice for this one, definitely. We'll get one more scoop of this. And then lastly, we have this one. This is the Taiwanese beef noodle. See, like when the noodles go past the water line, they almost disappear how dark this is here. Now, the noodles in this one have also changed color the most out of all of them. So, maybe these noodles are soaking up more in this one, or maybe because it's been sitting the longest out of all of them. Who knows? But let's give it a taste. Flavor, 
for that broth is definitely sticking to these noodles. Now this is says bone broth, five spice, and cilantro. If you've had five spice before, you when you taste this, you would instantly know that's five spice without even reading the label. You can taste this broth. That is tasty. Now, even though this one is the only one that changed the color of the noodle, I think that each one, because it's a bone broth, bone broth has all that collagen and stickiness to it. Even though these are fresh noodles, this one proves by color how it's sticking to the noodles themselves. All four of these, the broths have been killer. Let me taste the broths one more time. I'll tell you which one's my favorite. My top flavor, I'm gonna have to say, is the spicy Japanese ramen. Just because the spiciness of it really kicks this, the flavor up. But this Taiwanese beef noodle is really good. I haven't had much ramen or noodles that uh, describe themselves as from Taiwan. This makes me want to go out and try to find a Taiwanese restaurant somewhere just so I can know how delicious it is. Because if this instant variety is, is I'm enjoying so much, you got to think like in the restaurant it's going to be really, really good. Just because I said those two are my favorite, it doesn't mean you might not like these two. The chicken noodle and the beef uh, I gotta say, these four bowls of ramen, being that one, they're micro, they're waveable themselves, so you can bring them to work, you can put them in your lunchbox. How close they are in flavor to authentic restaurant style food is pretty incredible and I'm very much impressed. I looked this up on their website, uh, oneculturefoods.com. They have a way to see where they're located, and in my area, Whole Foods, uh, World Market, and a place called Potash Produce uh, all have this available. And I'm assuming they all, all have the spices available too, the sauces. And if these are that good, I kind of want to go and try to find those the sauces to to make some recipes. They have recipes also on their website, both using the noodles and using their sauces. Some of them look pretty interesting. They got like some stir fry with noodles. Uh, even like a, one, of, one of them is like a barbecue ribs with one of their sauces. They all look really good. I wanna try them out as well. And I would recommend that you look up these. If you are a person that likes noodles, um, you want to try something a little bit more high quality, or you want just to throw something in your lunchbox, these are them. You should try them out. They are One Culture Foods Instant Noodles, and this has been John. Hope you like this video. I know it's been pretty long, but I have four varieties here to try, and I wanted to make sure I got everything out that I want to tell you. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Until next time. Bye. These are them. You should try them out. They are One Culture Foods Instant Noodles. And this has been John. Hope you like this video. I know it's been pretty long, but I have four varieties here to try. And I wanted to make sure I got everything out that I want to tell you. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Until next time, bye.